Hello and welcome to the channel. I am your host, The Grateful Tadpole. Uh, if this is the first video you find yourself watching, I highly recommend watching my previous videos uh, just so you can get a feel of what this is. Um, I know they're a little bit long, but they kind of have to be for you know the purpose of what I'm doing. Um, you can just skip ahead. Uh, there's an intro in the first one that's a little bit long. You can skip that. The second one's a little bit shorter. This one should be even shorter than that. So we'll jump right ahead into it. We are doing core set 2019 booster pack and we are turning it into a potential quest for Dungeons and Dragons using only the cards in here. So let's get right to it. All right, first card that we have is the Rustwing Falcon. It's a bird creature. Very cool it's from flavor text. Native to wide prairies and scrublands, falcons occasionally roost in dragon skeletons. Interesting. Okay, so we'll put that back. Next is the Tolarian Scholar, which is a human wizard. Looks pretty neat. The Tolarian Ac Academies embrace a tradition of study and research, while discouraging the kinds of experiments that ruined the original island of Tolaria. Ooh, that's pretty neat. That could put, uh, potentially be maybe a location that your uh, your players are going to be going to. Pretty cool. Okay, next card is the Act of Treason. It's a sorcery. Looks like a pretty mad angel. Pretty cool. She learned a tragic lesson that day. Even the purest can be corrupted when the heart's emotions are twisted. Ooh, ooh, that might be twist in or a, a plot twist or maybe the uh, inciting incident or something that uh, causes the players to need to go and, and do this quest that's pretty cool let's see what else we got we got knight's pledge it's an enchantment an aura pretty neat as long as my faith persists so shall i sounds like a motive for maybe like an npc um something like that would be pretty cool Let's see, we have two-headed zombie. Zombie creature, obviously. Pretty cool. Thread the torsos together with angel hair to ensure they will cooperate in battle. The Stitcher's Tome. That's pretty morbid. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got another sorcery. Macabre Waltz. All right. Liliana is never one to follow someone else's lead. That is definitely pretty nasty. Cool, so that could be a potential NPC as well. Um, I don't know enough about uh, some of the Magic the Gathering lore and characters uh, to tell if Liliana is a big deal. I wanna say yes, um, but I can't remember for sure. So um, if she is, you know, uh, put it in the comment. You know, I might do some research about it later. Let's see what else we got. Got an instant strangling spores. All right. Cool. Imagine a thousand tiny mushrooms cropping up within your lungs. That looks like it could be a trap uh, or maybe just a spell that some of the some of the enemies have um, for the players. Ooh, that does not sound nice. Ooh, we got an artifact equipment. The Marauder's Axe. Yes, a sharp axe solves most problems. That could be uh, a potential magic weapon, a uh, treasure that the characters find. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That, oh yeah, I like that. All right, we got an instant shock. All right, the tools of invention became the weapons of revolution. Uh, that looks like it could possibly be um, an item that the, the players find. It could be a, um, either a one-time use or uh, maybe you don't even have to have it be like an item. It could be just like a, a scroll, just like a magic scroll that uses, you know, electricity damage or something like that. Um, but the way this card is looking, that looks like a pretty interesting weapon. That might be a, that might be a cool magic item that uh, the players will find. Excuse me. Let's see. That looks pretty cool. All right. Totally lost is an instant. A little Cyclops dude. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fubblefoot had always hated crowds. Oh my gosh, if you can read that, look at that. Oh, that name. That's going to be difficult. That's pretty cool. That could be a that could be an NPC. Uh, that could be um, something that happens to the players. They get lost. Somebody uh, gets uh, 
um, a spell or a curse cast upon them. Maybe gives them a fear of crowds, something like that. That might be interesting. All right, now we're getting to the uncommon. We have a Vine Mare. All right, that is a creature. Elemental Horse. That's really cool. When it passes, the dead are displaced by flourishing life. Whoa, that sounds cool. That sounds like maybe a mini boss, possibly, or maybe like a side quest in this quest. Ooh, maybe an N uh, not an NPC, but like a someone that the players can go to that maybe has some knowledge for furthering the quest. That sounds like that might have some uh, some intelligence, some human-like intelligence, maybe more. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got? We got another. Ooh, an artifact creature, meteor golem. That definitely looks like a mini boss for sure. The impact sent the soldiers scattering, then something came out of the crater. Oh yeah, that's definitely, de if not a, uh, a regular enemy, that's for sure gonna be a mini boss. Oh wow, this is gonna have a, this quest is gonna have a lot of combat. All right, we got another creature, an elf scout, the Skyrider Patrol. That's pretty cool. Some aerial stuff, what are those? like manta rays that it's flying on that's pretty sweet uh, yeah no uh no flavor text for that it's a, a two two color car that's blue and green if you can see that a little bit of a glare it's kind of neat what else we got Ooh, our first rare mist collar it's a merfolk wizard oh wow you really there we go all right hard to see that Hospitality is of little concern to those who do not wish to be disturbed. Very cool. That that might be a, an important character for sure. There's a whole lot of them in there too, so maybe throw in some regular merfolk uh, warriors along with this merfolk wizard. And then we have typical land card, island. So maybe this is going to be somewhat water-based i mean obviously with the merfolk um maybe it's on an island in this area or maybe it's part of like an ocean area something that definitely has uh, water for sure and then we have a token creature which is a zombie all right let's see is that it that is it so let's start putting this together okay so for a inciting incident or a rumor let's go ahead and start with here let's start with the tolarian scholar there you go the sun started getting covered by the clouds we'll start with him maybe he based on the flavor text the Talarian Academies embrace a tradition of study and research while discouraging the kinds of experiments that ruin the original island of Talaria. So maybe you guys or the uh, the players are going to be meeting one of these uh, human wizards that maybe were a part of the uh, experiments that ruined this area. Maybe Talaria. Oh, the island of Talaria. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, the players are going to be sent to this island. That's gonna be it. All right, so then in front of him is going to be the island card. Island, Talarian Scholar. Hell yeah, that sounds good. Let's see, let's talk about experiments. Let's see what one of these experiments, let's see if anything part of it. Actually, you know what? Since there is some zombies in here, perhaps in this island, there was some kind of necromancy going on and the island was overrun kind of a, uh, a dead island uh, kind of theme to it that'd be pretty cool so let's do that maybe maybe this Tolarian scholar was one of those that tried to help it or maybe he was part of it and the main person that was probably doing some bad stuff is this Liliana character so maybe we'll put her as somewhere in there to be like a main boss maybe that's gonna be maybe she's gonna be the main character one of the main plotters the main antagonists so maybe they have to go to this island 
dispatch a couple things, try to find a cure maybe, something or, or at least something to help wipe out all these zombies, try to bring back the, the glory of Talaria. So perhaps they need to travel. Obviously the players are gonna need some help. Uh, I mean, if it's an island that has a, uh, a very well-known city in it, um, academies to be you know this is, the island's gonna have to be pretty big so i'm assuming they're gonna the players are gonna need some help so perhaps they're gonna need to go and get some help from the local maybe there's a couple other islands around the area maybe they got to meet some uh, skyrider patrols that sounds pretty cool maybe get some aerial help maybe some uh some of these guys can fly over some of the larger concentrations of these zombies and maybe drop some like hot oil or hot lead something like that maybe even magma if they have you know an, uh, an island with a, a volcano nearby that might be pretty cool so we'll put that there right after the two-headed zombies so they'll have to be going to get some more help uh let's see what else can we do looks like Rustwing falcon let's do after they get some help they're probably gonna have to go and speak to, say they got the air, they're working on the island land, maybe they're gonna need some help from some merfolk wizards. So we'll put that next. But before that, to get to them, perhaps they are going to get totally lost. They're gonna get totally Flip and lost. And in that, they may come across the vine mare. So we'll put that above the totally lost. Let's see what else we got. They get lost, they find the vine mare. Maybe, maybe a trap or some kind of natural effect that the, uh, Players have to come across strangling spores. We'll do that. We'll do totally lost strangling spores, which may lead up to the vine mare. The vine mare is probably going to advise them maybe not to go to the merfolk. You can or you can't. I don't know. It's pretty iffy. It might be another little mini side thing of the side quest, um, and it probably won't end well. That might. It sounds like that might uh, be like nah, because the flavor text for the miscaller is hospitality is of little concern to those who do not wish to be disturbed. So they don't want nobody there. So it's probably a last ditch resort possibly, or, you know, I mean the players, if they have high enough uh, charisma or um, what is it? Um, oh geez, what do you call it? Diplomacy, maybe. Um, that's if they're high enough level and they have, you know, High points in that uh, maybe they could possibly get some help from these the the merfolk wizards maybe not um after that looks like there might need some more help so let's see maybe there are some local islands or maybe they have to call for some local knights to get some more ground support um so let's do that maybe a, uh, a high-ranking officer comes in and you know they bring a little bit like a mini army you know kind of help um, you know clean out these zombies eventually there is going to be act of treason probably from one of these knights because it would fit nicely with this the flavor text as long as my faith persists so shall i and then the act of treason she learned a tragic lesson that day even the purest can be corrupted when the heart's emotions are twisted that sounds Good. So I think those are definitely going to be together. Perhaps the one being twisted was uh, maybe the general or maybe just like a lowly soldier that like snuck in, crept up. Uh, maybe they have some ties with this Liliana character and they bring some powerful magic into the middle of this, you know, army as they're fighting these zombies. And perhaps coming from the sky will be this meteor zombie or meteor golem, sorry. That would be a nice little twist, you know. Everybody's fighting, hacking, slashing these zombies. They think they're winning, pushing them back. Then all of a sudden, 
boom, and then you know it could be it could be made so that it looks like maybe one of the uh, uh, the the knights they had a wizard with them or something. Oh man, maybe that's who it is, the wizard. And they're like, I'm gonna call a fireball down and and put it right in the the center of like a large mass of zombies or something. It's not gonna be in the zombies. Uh, it's definitely gonna be in the main characters and the the knights. Probably a lot of them are gonna die. I mean, that's up to the um, Excuse me, the, uh, the Dungeon Master's uh, discretion. Most likely, I would probably just wipe out a big chunk of them, depending on how many you have. Um, it could be a, a small scouting regiment, or it could be like a couple hundred. And at that point, you know, it's easier to just kind of roll like all this cluster instead of doing it individually, unless you want to, but that's a lot of time. Um, so yeah, but this definitely looks like it's going to be coming down. That act of treason, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got shock. That looks like. Hmm. Where could we put that? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. The shock is gonna be a special item that either a local or not a local, but some kind of inventor of the time created, or maybe the vine mayor knew of a location that had some kind of like rift in the space-time continuum. And this item, because it looks quite advanced, if you can see that, maybe that's from the future. Yeah, so maybe the players can find this. And obviously, you know, if it's from the future, it's probably gonna be super uh, high-tech. So maybe it's gonna be only available to use a certain time, like maybe it's battery-powered. And since they don't have batteries, in this area i mean they could depending on what your campaign is but you know typical dungeons and dragons there's not gonna be any batteries um so maybe it's only got a couple charges left but it does some pretty crazy damage so that might be pretty helpful to the uh the meteor golem that shows up later that sounds pretty cool so let's do that let's put that shock next to the vine mare so then all we have left is the zombie token which we could probably put with the meteor golem just to remind the dm um that it's going to be like a back back to the battle fighting those things and then we have the rustwing falcon and the marauder's axe so let's see native to wide prairies and scrublands falcons occasionally roost in dragon skeletons this could possibly be um just like a, a random um Thing that the the players stumble upon perhaps uh, somewhere on the island uh, that they're traveling they find like a dragon skeleton and uh, if they search it uh, maybe they'll find this item lodged into like the skull or like a rib rib bone something like that um, that'd be a nice little thing it could be it just could be just like a um, a, a master what do they call those master master made Something. I don't know, just like a like a plus one or plus two, or maybe even uh, a magic. Maybe it has uh, bonuses to dragons. I mean, there isn't any dragons in this quest, but perhaps in future quests. Um, that would be pretty cool. So we can do that. We'll put that... Actually, maybe the Talorian Scholar has the Rustwing. And maybe after doing all this stuff, he has uh, the location of a dragon skeleton somewhere on the island that lore tells of a mighty warrior who went and was hunting dragons and unfortunately he was slain in this most recent in his life um but he was able to kill the dragon maybe it was a mighty dragon and so you have to um do all this uh, stuff for this scholar this wizard and then he'll tell you about where this fancy axe is Ooh, i like that that's pretty cool We'll put that together, and we'll probably put that, to see you remind him, we'll put that up with him. And then all we have left is Liliana, who may or may not be actually a part of this quest. Like, I'm thinking maybe she is the instigator, but the players probably are never going to get to actually see her. Um, she's just, she looks like she's a little too wily, a little too cunning. Probably going to be just on the outskirts of the player's, um, capabilities. 
so they're probably going to get glimpses of her or definitely see her work. Yeah, I think that might be potentially a future uh, quest boss in a, in a future pack if it comes up. Or, you know, you could just build it right off of this. I mean, all these are meant to be pretty standalone, but, you know, if they fit together with other booster packs, you know, awesome. Yeah, totally start blending them together. Um, you could you could probably make a pretty nice campaign based on that. So potential cliffhangers. We'll put that towards the end. All right, let's put all these together and we'll run through it real quick, see if it all works out, see if it uh, flows nicely. We'll see. Put that here. Do that. 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 Retreating. Boom, boom. Okay. So here we go. The location of the quest is going to be on the island of Tolaria. Um, so we'll put that there. Uh, there the players are going to uh, meet a Tolarian scholar who is uh, tr probably trying to repair the city after one, one of these horrible experiments that went down, which happened to be um, some bad black magic, necromancy, you know, a whole bunch of people started coming back, bad stuff. So he's going to try to get the, the players to try to help clean it out. I mean, everybody's probably pretty much deserted the island at this point. It, look, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty overrun. So this, uh, this scholar is gonna hire these uh, adventurers to come in and try to start wiping them out. Uh, they probably won't be able to do the entire island, but perhaps maybe there are certain concentrations, maybe spawn points. There you go, there's certain areas that the, the players have to go to destroy because it keeps spewing out these zombies from the underworld, another plane of existence, maybe just from the bowels of the island, uh, maybe just thousands of years of, of being on this island, you know, a lot of bodies are getting buried. So maybe they're just, you know, they just keep bringing them back up, they keep getting lower and lower into the ground. Um, so that'd be interesting. So maybe there's spawning points that the players have to go to. Um, for a reward, uh, besides the wonderful generosity and, you know, just good nature of helping this, this, uh, this island kind of come back from the, the brink of undeath um, to sweeten the deal. The scholar uh, will have his rusty falcon, who's probably perched on him, um, help lead um, the players to a fabled axe um, that was once used to kill mighty dragons throughout the, the previous eras. So that'll probably be the axe, the weapon, the treasure for this quest. So, because of the Rustwing Falcon's um, nature to roost and dragon skeletons, perfect. So it could probably lead them right to it. Perhaps this Rustwing Falcon has some level of intelligence that's a little bit higher than normal. So we'll do that. That'll be the, the quest item, the Marauder's Axe, which looks pretty cool, especially since there's like fire in the background. Looks pretty gnarly. So we'll do that. So the first thing the players are going to do are probably going to go to one of these spawning points. I'm assuming, whoop, drop the card. I'm assuming that the, uh, uh, the scholar is going to give them some, some rough map um, of where all these, these, uh, these spawn points are. So they're going to, the players are going to go and they're probably going to start knocking out these zombies. So maybe there's like a handful, three, four, maybe five, depending on how long you want this to be, uh, especially with these side quests that are coming in. So they'll probably destroy one. And then start heading to another one. Maybe it's in a difficult position. Maybe it's really high up in the mountain. And to get there, they need the help of the Skyrider Patrol to get really high up there. So that sounds pretty cool. So they're probably going to have to go to a nearby uh, settlement that is rumored to still be intact. Um, because they're, you know, flying elf scouts, they probably aren't going to be on the ground, which means they won't have to deal with these zombies very often. Maybe they pick them off, but, you know there's so many that maybe they're just like, eh, we can live with it, so, and just kill them when we can, but it really doesn't affect their life. So maybe the players have to go find these people, recruit their help, how they're gonna do that, who knows, money if they have enough, bribing, maybe there's another side quest that these Sky Patrol people give them in order for them to uh, help them. Maybe they have to try to go and save or meet the Vine Mare, Maybe uh, the Vine Mare has uh, some knowledge 
that the uh, the Skyrider patrols need, or maybe this Vimer is is trapped or wounded somehow, or you know something that the players need to go and help out. Um, but to get there, um, they're probably the players are gonna probably be walking through like some forest area, which is right after the Sky Patrol. They're going to get lost, horribly lost. Um, so maybe the, the trees start all looking the same landmarks that the Sky Riders tell them are starting to recur back and forth. Maybe they're going in circles. Could be a, a trap or a spell in the forest. You know, somebody's messing with them. Maybe it's Liliana. Who knows? She might be right there in the in the shadows uh, trying to screw with the players. Um, while they're lost, maybe they'll, uh, uh, they'll come across the, some strangling spores. And, you know, maybe all... All hope is lost. You know the players are losing health points. They're just doing all. They're, they're getting wounded. They're falling down, puking. Whatever these spores are be, are doing, uh, cropping up within their lungs. Maybe their their constitution is starting to go down. You know penalties, stuff like that. Um, if they don't have the magic or the items or whatever to try to like help themselves, um, perhaps right at the last minute, right before they die, um, is when the vine mare may show up. Um, either wounded or trapped or just happened to be in the area depending on what it is um, I mean this is all open-ended um, perhaps that could be what saves the characters and um, so they, they help them kind of like a scratch your back I'll scratch yours scratch mine something like that so maybe uh, um, they get out of the spore predicament help the vine mare the vine mare gives the players information or location of whatever whatever for the sky rider patrols in addition to the location of a very special item for the players to get. Um, or maybe that is, maybe the Skyriders needed to know where these are. Maybe there's a lot of them somewhere and they have an extra one and they give them to one of those. That might be pretty cool too. So yada yada yada, they get help. Then they, uh, they are told that they need to go potentially try and get some help from the Mist Caller Merfolk Wizard. Maybe another spawning point is in the water somewhere that they can't access unless they get help from the wizards, which is where they're gonna come in. This might be a diplomacy thing, or the players might have to use some stealth tactics to get around, get underneath, whatever, try to get around. But looks like these uh, wizards, these merfolk, are probably gonna be highly, uh, um, you know, not nice. Uh, so potentially some more conflict right there um, if the players are ready for it they could dive right in and start slashing away or they can take the sneakier route and try to get around it so that might be an interesting thing um, after that perhaps it may be some local knights uh, probably from a nearby continent showed up because they heard of this uh, um, the, the plight of this island of Talaria and they're going to try to come in and lend some assistance, some, some holy pledge, some very righteous acts. So perhaps they're gonna bring a, a small batal, uh, battalion, battal, something like that. Uh, they're gonna bring in some some soldiers to try to help wipe and wipe out some of these zombies and, and help out the players and ultimately this uh, this island. Um, probably among among those ranks is gonna be some kind of individual, either a wizard, a high ranking commander, a lieutenant, maybe even just like a lowly. Uh, like foot soldier, but whoever it is, they're gonna have ties to Liliana, and that's not a good thing. So there is going to be the act of treason, and obviously this is gonna be in the heat of some battle against the zombies, and from the sky is going to fall this meteor golem, and that's gonna be like a, whoa, no. So on top of fighting the zombies, on top of fighting the golem, perhaps even more of the soldiers in this uh, um, this regiment that came across, maybe they also are dealing with Liliana. So, I mean, there's gonna be enemies all over. Potentially, this could be a pretty hairy fight for the players, especially if it's like a low party number. This might be better for higher number uh, party players, you know, like maybe five or more, but it's all up to the DM. Perhaps it's, it's just a small skirmish um, and who knows, uh, maybe this meteor golem looks super intense, but one of the players knows something about golems and are is able to take them down pretty quickly. So there's uh, multiple ways that this can go. Uh, after the meteor golem um, is the uh, Liliana. So perhaps maybe she makes uh, an appearance 
potentially could be a, uh, a final uh, enemy to fight, um, or she could just get away and it'll have to be from a future future quest. After that, they'll go back to the, uh, the scholar. Uh, he'll probably send out his bird. They'll follow, find this cool weapon, and there you go. That is your quest. That, that sounds pretty cool. That, there's actually a lot going on there. Uh, lots of uh, plot intrigue, a lot of characters, items, a lot of fighting, potential for a lot of conflict. Uh, but if the players want to be sneaky about it, you know, they totally could, and that would work out. Um, that was really fun. I like that. Uh, it didn't cause me too much trouble. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, of creative stuff going on right there. I, I really like how that's go. That went. I'm going to have to save that. Uh, if you like the video, uh, comment, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, like I said before, if you haven't seen the other videos, highly recommend it just so you can kind of get a, a better feel of kind of what this is going to be. Um, going on the 31 minute mark, it kind of has to be this way unless you want me to do it and break it up. I could do it, you know, half the cars and then another video, another half, you know, whatever you guys want. Um, but, you know, you know, definitely watch all the way through. Um, I'll put somewhere in the comments about um, links or where to skip, something like that. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty fun. That was quest number five. Um, I'm definitely going to have to to play that with some of my players. That was really cool, uh, really fun. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed and have a great time. That was weird. Anyway, next week um, I will have another one, so have a good one. Before I go, I almost forgot, I also need to do a shout out to a subscriber, uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Uh, they were there at the first video that I did, uh, first comment, first everything. So I just wanna thank you for sticking around. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, you know, like, comments, I need uh, feedback and everything. Make sure I'm doing stuff that you guys like. Um, tell your friends, family, anybody that's got YouTube, anybody that watches videos, anybody that likes Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you know, spread the word. It's, uh, um, I, really, I really wanna get this out there and get more people, but thank you for that. Shout outs all around. Uh, anybody that shows up, you know, I'll, I'll start doing shout outs and thank yous and all that stuff like that. Um, so I just want to get that out there. Again, have a great day, and I will be back next weekend.